This question has made 95% of students run to their parents for help. Can you solve it? Drop your solution in the comment section below before I show it to you. Have you done that? Now let's get right to it. Now this question asks us to look for the values of x given that x squared minus 2 or raised to the 2 is equal to x plus 2. Now notice that the left hand side is of the form a minus b or raised to the 2. This has a special identity of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now when we compare this to this, you see that our x squared is our a and our 2 is our b. Now we're going to be expanding this in this form. So we have x squared raised to the 2, that is our a squared, minus 2 times x squared times 2, that is our 2ab, plus 2 squared, that is our b squared. This is equal to x plus 2, that is on the right hand side. Now simplifying, we have x to the 2 times 2, that is 4, minus 2 times x squared times 2 is 4x squared, plus 2 squared is 4. And this is equal to x plus 2. Now let's move what we have on the right to the left. So we have x to the 4 minus 4x squared. Now I'll move this x first so that it becomes minus x. Now I have here plus 4, and as I move 2 to the left, it becomes minus 2. Now simplifying further, we have x to the 4th minus 4x squared minus x. Now 4 minus 2 is actually plus 2. This is actually equal to 0. So we have a nice quartic equation. But let's see if we can factorize. Notice that x squared is common from here, so we can factor out x squared, open bracket, x to the fourth divided by x squared is x squared, minus 4x squared divided by x squared is 4, and then, now notice that negative 1 is common from here, so let's bring it out, negative 1, open bracket, so negative x divided by negative 1 is x, and then 2 divided by negative 1 is negative 2. This is equal to 0. Now, there is something I can do here. So this is x squared times x squared minus 4 is same as 2 squared minus 1 times x minus 2 equal to 0. Now, notice this expression here inside of the parentheses. This is an expression in the form of difference of two squares. Well, difference of two squares has this identity, a squared minus b squared, which can be written as a minus b times a plus b. Now, if we have to compare, you see that our a is taking the form of a x and our b is taking the form of two. So we have x squared. Now to write this, we have a minus b, which is x minus 2. This is a minus b times a plus b, which is x plus 2. That is it. So minus 1 times x minus 2 equal to 0. So now notice that x minus 2 is common, so we can factor out x minus 2. And then open a bracket. Now this expression divided by x minus 2 is x squared times x plus 2. So I'm going to be changing this bracket to make it look different. That is it. So minus. Now this expression divided by x minus 2 we have 1. And this is equal to 0. When we simplify we have x minus 2 times, now let's open up this bracket, x squared times x is x cubed plus 
x squared times 2 is 2x squared. And then we have minus 1 equal to 0. So there are actually two cases from here. The first case is x minus 2 equal to 0. And the other case is x cubed plus 2x squared minus 1 equal to 0. It is easy for us to get the value of x from this case by moving negative 2 to the right. So we have x to be equal to, as negative 2 crosses, it becomes positive. So this is a value for x. Now let's move on to our second case, case 2. We have a nice cubic equation that we're going to be solving. Now we'll test for values of x ranging from plus or negative 1, plus or negative 2, plus or negative 3 to see if we're going to be having a factor. Now let's try for positive 1. So this is 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 squared minus 1. So 1 cubed is 1 plus 1 squared is 1 times 2, that is 2 minus 1. So 1 plus 2 minus 1 is actually 2. So x is not equal to 1. Okay, let's try for x equal to negative 1. So we have negative 1 cubed plus 2 times negative 1 squared minus 1. So negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Now negative 1 squared is 1 times 2. That is plus 2 minus 1. And when we solve this, you see that negative 1 plus 2 is 1 minus 1 is actually 0. So we can say that x plus 1 is a factor. Why? Because x is equal to negative 1. Now let's just keep this negative 1 here because x is negative 1. Let's keep it there. Now let's write down our coefficient. So firstly, I'm going to be writing this is x cubed this is x squared. Then after x squared, I'm supposed to be having x before having the constant. Now let's write down the coefficient. The coefficient of x cubed from our given equation is 1. The coefficient of x squared is 2. The coefficient of x, I don't have x, so that's going to be 0. Why our constant is negative 1. So let me get rid of this because I don't need them anymore. Alright, now I'm going to be drawing a line, but we have to give space. So I'll drop this one down, and then I'll draw a line, slant line, so that I have to multiply this one by negative 1. So 1 times negative 1 gives negative 1. So this will be a plus. So 2 plus negative 1 is 1. We repeat the same thing. So I'll draw a slant line and I'll multiply this 1 by this negative 1. And when I do that, I'll have negative 1 as well because 1 times 1 is negative 1. Now let's add. So 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. Now let's repeat the same process. So use this, this negative 1 times this negative 1. We have negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Now let's add negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So we've got our other factors where we have these as coefficients. Now if we have the original equation to be a cubic equation, that means from here we have a quadratic equation. So this will be x squared, the coefficient is 1, then plus, this will be x, the coefficient is 1, and this is a constant, negative 1. So this is the order factor. So that means our first factor, which is x plus 1, multiplies this order factor, plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So we've been able to factorize this equation. And in which we have two cases. So our first case is x plus 1 equal to 0. And our second case is x squared plus x minus 1 is equal to 0. 
from our first case we can easily get the value of x by moving one to the right x equal to negative one i believe we've got that before then our second case is a quadratic equation now let's use the quadratic formula to solve it now using the quadratic formula to solve this our a here is one our b is also one and our c is negative one so we have x the quadratic formula to be x equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now let's substitute here so we have x to be equal to negative b so that will be negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared that is 1 squared minus 4 times a times c so 4 times a a is 1 times c c is negative 1 all over 2 times a that is 2 times 1 so simplifying we have x to be negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1 and then minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 is minus 4 all over 2 times 1 is 2 so simplifying further we have x to be equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 negative times negative is positive so we have plus 4 all over 2 and then simplifying further this will be x equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 is actually 5 all over 2 so we have two values of x from here let's separate the fractions so that we see them clearly so x will be negative 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 or x is negative 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 and so in total we have four values of x of which the first value is 2 the second value is negative 1 this is the third value why this is the fourth value well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care